is one of the larger businesses that they did uh, in, the, in the production end of the sawmill, was they made butter tub covers here. Basically in the 1870s and 1880s, the largest producer of butter in New York State was Delaware County. At that time, they produced up to 7.7 .7 million pounds of butter per year in this county. So therefore, butter tubs were a, a big business for the Coopers. The local Coopers would make the butter. They would, uh, they would, or they would make the tubs for the farmers. The problem the, the Cooper had was is he couldn't make a perfectly round, liquid tight tub cover. So a guy by the name of William Mickle, right down here in Oneonta, New York, invented this machine in 1876 to do that very thing. So what, what we have to do is we're going to take two pieces. I might add that in those days they didn't make it out of pine. We're going to make this one out of pine, but in those days they made them out of hardwood. Uh, they, and they would make up to 1000 a day here at, at that time. They would sell for four cents a piece. The guy working here would work 10 hours a day making these, and he would make up approximately a dollar a day. This is the Tony Boo machine. We'll do this first. Then I put these two together. And then once it's tapped together, now we're going to go to this machine over here. I place this down in here like this and get it centered. Once I get it centered, put the cover down over it. And then we shift the power on by using this as our shift lever here. We run it from the idler pulley to the drive pulley. And now we'll go to work. You see those things fly. Now in the old days, this thing wasn't here. The mix on the wall would be where those things used to hit. Now that we have a circle, whoops, I gotta put a bevel edge on it. Now that we have a circle, I'll put the bevel edge on it. And now we've got it done. The, the butter tub would go in here like this. The bevel edge would be right. up like that. It would go in there and then uh, clamp tight. But when it was after it was clamped tight, then the moisture of the butter would swell and that would cause it to be liquid tight. But the reason why the business was so good is because these things were only used once when they got to their, their destination and in order to get into the butter, they had to break the tub cover. So it was a good repeat business for them. 